call it just you know being obvious about the situation, whatever you will. But um, I, I quickly figured out that I needed to focus on people that had cash. And the only way I knew how to do that was to go down to the county clerk's office and look at every real estate, every deed that had transferred the week before, which I could easily go and get down in Broward County. Yep. And then I would immediately look, and this was all a manual process, by the way. There was nothing automated when I was doing this. So you were going to I was physically the going down there, sitting in a dark cubicle with a bunch of contractors and people that were trying to file for their permits, right? And I'm going through a ledger and looking, here's every transaction that happened, and was there a mortgage prom note recorded against it? Was there a lien? Because if there wasn't, cash sale. There had to be been cash. And I would record all this, and I would take it back to the office, and I would put it into a spreadsheet, and I would have my assistant at the time, we, would form, we had a form letter, letter, Microsoft Word, we'd merge it together, we'd mail that letter and basically send it off to a cash bar and say, I know you paid cash for this property, and I can help you find more. I wanna, I wanna sell you my properties. And before you knew it, I had built a massive cash buyer list. Nobody knew what we were doing. Everybody else, like I said, was shutting down. And we're over here, and our business at that time, you know, Memphis Invest in particular, I mean, we, were, we went from a couple hundred transactions a year to 300 transactions a year to 450 to 500 right through the recession. And the reason that happened is we were focused on people that had money. Mm -hmm. And so it became, when I, when I started doing that, people started looking at me like, how, I don't get it. I said, how are you doing all these deals? How are you doing? We're, we're trying to survive and your business is growing by 50%, 100%. How's that happen? Basically, there was a massive need in the market. The choice was there were a lot of people that were gonna go out of business or we could show them how to survive and thrive by going and focusing on people that had money. Yeah. Because there were plenty of them. Right. They're 40 or 50% of the market was cash buyers back then. So I just, I just wanna make sure that everybody's picking that up because I think that's a huge tip. I mean, and it would work in virtually any market is go in, analyze the close, close sales, and we're gonna talk about your software that's gonna help automate all that, but find all the close sales, analyze which ones do not have a loan on them, those are the cash sales. That's exactly right. Then go contact those owners and say, hey, I've got similar properties yeah. that match the one that you just bought, are you interested? That's it. And then you're building a list of cash buyers that are basically- And it's effectively what I had done in the grocery industry, right? So this was not some new, epiphany we had.